Okay, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do a couple of the harder questions for you on quiz about the T-Test week three. Okay, first of all, download the data set. Open the data set. All right, this is the one that says, what is the name of this guy? It is week three T-Test quiz, right? Psych, save, this is us. Okay, so there's the data set. And I'm going to do the harder questions at the very end of the test. Okay, hold on. Okay, I, for me, it says preview. That means start the test, so we're going to preview the test. All right, so instructions, 20, blah, right, that, this is the data set that just opened. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to the harder ones down here. Assuming that you guys can do, I hope, most of these other ones. But some of them do get kind of lengthy when we actually run the test. So I'm going to run them for you just so this test doesn't turn out to be a 10-hour test. Here we go. So here's the first one. I'm going to do question 22, 23, 24. 22. Question 22. Okay. So it's going to... These are all the paired T-tests. So paired T-tests. Partner rating, pre and post, trust, pre and post, relationship quality, pre and post, huggability, ah, huggability, pre and post. So we're going to run four paired T tests and we're going to answer all these that are correct. All right, that's kind of hairy. So let me pull that bad boy up for you. Hold on. Okay, paired T test time to run a paired T test. We go to analyze, compare means. P for paired. All right, these are all pre and post tests. Remember, pre and post test. One group, two measurements. That makes it a paired T test. All right, so let's go down here to. There's uh, there they are right there. So partner rating pre. Partner rating post. See how they pair up here. So that means that this is the first measurement, second measurement, and it'll do you. That's the beauty about SPSS. You can do them all at the same time. So trust pre. Trust post, relationship pre, relationship post, huggability pre, huggability post. That's all you need. Click OK. You get the output over here. And let's start answering questions. So these are the means up here. Uh, sample size, standard deviation, standard error of the mean. Uh, here is our correlations. Don't care about correlations with a pair of T-tests. I don't know why they put that in there, but... And here is your money box. Get in there, you boom. This is your main box here, right? Paired differences. And we got to scroll all the way over here. But there's the T, right? This is what you're looking for. T, T, T. So here's the T. Degrees of freedom. And then, of course, the SIG values... Going to the other side, right? So we're going to do all that. So we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and answer some questions. We got all the information stared us right in the face. Let me pull up the test. Uh, where'd you go? Trust significantly increased. Hmm. Let's, let's take a look. Trust significantly increased. So which one of these is trust? Uh, there's trust, right? Trust t pre-test, post-test. The t-test statistic was big, so it did, it, it changed. But we don't know if it increased or not. So if it increased, we're going to go back up to the mean box trust. So it started at 2.1 and it went up to 2.8. So it did increase, right? So trust increased. That is true. And next, relationship quality significantly increased. Okay, relationship quality. First of all, we see if it's significant. Relationship quality, there it is. There's the T-test score. And, of course, my picture's right in the way. Move it, you. Move it or lose it. So, uh, relationship quality. It was not significant, right? The, the SIG value. SIG value is not significant, right? It's not less than 0 0.05. So, that is not true. Right? Relationship quality significantly decreased is not true. 
So huggability significantly decreased. Let's see if it's significant first, huggability. And yep, it was it was significant, right? It it it's less than 0.05. Now let's see if it increased or decreased huggability. It actually increased. So I think that one was true. Huggability did increase. Oh no, it did not. It did not decrease. It increased. So let's find this one increased. Bam. And then uh, partner rating significantly increase so partner rating is the first one let's see if it was significant here's the box and it was right partner rating did show a significant change but again we have to look at the mean box to find out if it went up or down so it started at 7.3 and it ended at 9.4 so it did go up so that answer is correct it did significantly increase now let's look at the effect size. It says the trust comparison, that's the t-test, had the largest effect size. So we just go down to our effect size box, which is down here. There's right there. So effect size, and we always use Cohen's D. So let's find the biggest number, and it looks like this number, 1.183. Don't worry about the positive or negative thing, but this one is the biggest. It's a little bit bigger. No, that's it. That's it. So it is trust to trust pre and post test. So that part was right. So relationship quality increased significantly. I can't remember about that. I don't think it did, but let's double check. Relationship quality. Uh, no, 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 no. Back up here. Relationship quality wasn't significant. So no, that's not true. And trust significantly decreased. That's not true. Partner rating significantly decreased. No, no, no. I think that's all that are right. Let's double check. So trust significantly increased. Relationship quality was not significant. Huggability increased. Partner rating increased. And the trust comparison had the largest effect size. I think those are all it. So that's those are the answers to number 22. I submitted them. I'm just going to double check that I got all of the right ones. So let's see what we our answers say. Answer says, yeah, we got them all. Correct, 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 correct. So if it's a missing one, it'll be red. So yeah, that's it. I hope this helps. MGZ out.